Welcome, wonderful souls. I'm Margot Zen, quantum soul guidance and galactic astrology practitioner. I'm thrilled to have you here today as I share <laughs> fragments of my latest hypnosis session. In this session, I connected to Procyon Sans, who offer profound insights um, on Earth's changes and transformation. During the session, I connected to two sons, but it was only afterwards when I discovered something truly fascinating. By checking the galactic alignments, I realized that our sun was in a tight conjunction to Procyon, which is a binary star system and the brightest star in Canis Minor constellation. So, at this point, I knew that the two suns I was channeling were the Procyon stars. The information and wisdom that Procyon suns shared with us during the session were profoundly enlightening. They spoke of energetic shifts that are happening on Earth and how these changes are leading to new era of spiritual awakening and growth. The connection between our sun and Procyon stars seem to have a deeper significance, as if it was a sign of an alignment between physical and spiritual realms. It was a truly profound experience which left me in awe of interconnectedness of the universe. As you can see on the chart, there were many more uh, interesting and um, supportive alignments at the time of our session with Jody. So, in the next section of this video, first I will describe what I see on the planet revolving around Procyon stars. But if you're eager to dive into questions and answers, I leave the timestamps in the description for your convenience. We explored topics such as Bluetooth, the earthly game, and um, solar flares, and more, apart from the Earth changes. Since I find the sessions incredibly relaxing and rejuvenating, though not always visually stimulating, I decided to share soothing process of coloring one of the mandalas from my coloring book. These mandalas resonated deeply with the peaceful energy I experienced during the sessions. Coloring always has been my favorite, one of my favorite ways to meditate and self-regulate. And I invite you to experience its calming effects too. If you'd like to explore my coloring book, um, you'll have, you will find the link in the description. If any of this resonates with you, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please feel free to share your experiences or questions in the comments. Now, let us move on to this profound conversation. Namaste. The water is clear, turquoise. You can see through it all the way to, to the bottom. And uh, this end is not really deep. Mm -hmm. The pebbles are shimmering silver. It's like the whole beach is silver sand. Silver sand? And like, turquoise water? Yes, I'm not sure if they're actually pearls or or pebbles. Maybe they're pearls. Whatever they are, they sound just magical and beautiful. 
yeah. the water is calm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how big is this water? I don't know what a lagoon usually is. How big it is. Can you get a sense of the size? The water feels infinite. The lagoon is small. It feels like there's more water than land ah. where I am. Mm -hmm. And there are two suns. There are two suns? Tell me about that. Like, are they equidistant apart or? One is larger on my left, mm -hmm. but not as bright. And one on my right, it's smaller, but much, much brighter. Yeah. And the quality of light is different. The smaller one is whiter. And the bigger one, it's nearly like, like a sunset sun. Are they both suns? Or maybe they're mm -hmm. something different? Or your senses, they're definitely suns, they're just different types. Suns. Type. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And how do the suns feel? Are you able to differentiate between how one feels and the other? Mm. It's like one is older and one is younger. Like, Mm. Not sure if like siblings or 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 there is bigger generation gap, but somehow the bigger dimmer one seems older and wiser or the smaller one it's younger in some way just has more energy to give out. Do you have a feeling that they communicate with each other? Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they do. They, they work together with this planet and the rest of the cosmos. The suns communicate with each other and that they have a job they do together, that they work together. Mm -hmm. Do you think if we ask them questions or one of them questions, they would be open to communicating with us? Let's try. Yeah. Let's see which one is most receptive or how they want to do it. They can choose. What did they say? The younger one is very eager. Oh my god, I knew it. Mm -hmm. I feel like the older one is kind of rolling, rolling their eyes like. Not really, they, but they want to yeah. be there. Like they feels like the older one will listen in and correct or add if necessary. Yes. All right, wonderful. Are there certain things we should fight? Fight. I've been thinking a lot about that word, fight. And I'm wondering if there's anything or any circumstance where it would be appropriate to fight unless you're being attacked really. Mm -hmm. And even then it feels like bringing the light might work better. Yes, bringing light and love will work better. However, the word fight means so many things to so many people. So 
if you mean fight by resisting not so good idea right. but if you mean fight for hmm, as in integrity yes mm. thank you so much I've heard that Bluetooth is not good for us at all and might have some negative effects on us. Do you know anything about that? That might have been the case earlier and it still might in some mm -hmm. cases be a case. However, your son and not only your son is bringing the light codes to earth right now that are constantly upgrading your dna which can help with while integrated will upgrade your physical body and this wouldn't be so impactful or at least not in negative way you can help with this process by bringing awareness intention doing energy work and through intention you can direct the upgrade so are you not the sun that there's a different sun than for earth and yes do you speak or communicate with our sun yes oh how is our sun doing it's doing great yeah. it has help like we all work together and this is the time when it's going through the whole solar system it's going through upgrades it's going through the pocket of energy you might call it within the galaxy that mm -hmm. is providing those upgrades as well therefore helping sun to bring those codes to earth and the rest of the solar system each star well, is a sun for its so system. Our sun, there's, there are so many solar flares lately. And I guess I'm just learning about this. A, a new follower, um, a beginning follower. And are we going to have big solar flare that kind of knocks our electric grids out or causes anything that we should prepare for or will it be slow and steady not slow steady not slow this is the part of galaxy that is amplifying your son's energy helping helping with the upgrades and shifts and there will be hmm, you are kind of in the middle of it right now there will be a bit more bumpy ride let's say how much can you tell us about the bumpy ride or is it kind of like we're not supposed to know i feel sometimes like people or other beings important energies or suns like yourself are hesitant to give us future predictions and i'm not sure if that's because we're not supposed to know them and it's part of our experience here or because it feels like everyone else knows <laughs> but not us by design is it by design i can't tell you which part of your world meaning earth will be affected but some of it 
will be affected more than the other parts when it comes to power cuts and such. And when you say and such, what other things come with? Could be a bit more intense than just power cuts, mm -hmm. as in electromagnetic impulse may affect your power grids in mm, more damaging way, let's say, or so. memory storages, as in hard drives. Am I still speaking with the young son or younger son? No. To whom am I speaking? Mm, the older son. Oh, thank you for coming. And why did, um, what made you want to step in? I know your son longer. Ah, so should we stay on the subject of our son? Is there more to talk about than the solar flares? Hmm. There's always more to talk about. When we talk about God the Father and people reference God the Creator, all that is, we're actually talking about the Son as Source. That's that not correct? correct. Okay. Source is bigger than that. Source created, let's say created. Sun comes from Source. The whole universe is part of the Source. You it's got that idea because without Sun on Earth, there won't be your form of life. And that is so important to us that it seems godly, but really God and source is even bigger yes. than that. Yes. Does, do sons talk to source, communicate with source? It's not communication per se as you perceive it, mm -hmm. as we communicate right now. It's more about information flowing that we need when we need it. It's um, each of the systems and planetary beings and suns and stars are, mm, let's say they know what to do. They play their roles. Mm -hmm. You could say they differ. They have their own personalities. They have own codes, blueprints, and the information is flowing freely, let's say, between source and those. Why is it so difficult for us humans to have source flow freely through us like that? Oh, you do. You're just not aware of it. You came down to play the game of life on Earth, but you had to limit your consciousness to do so. Make it very small. Otherwise, the game wouldn't be worth playing. <laughs> what is the game? Is it just for fun or is there a, an end point to it? What's the point? The Earth experiment or a game? Uh, experiment doesn't so, sound accurate. This way you would call each planet, each form of life, an experiment. Any other star system. It's a game of earthly living, you might say. It's a game of source learning about itself when the source is getting fragmented into smaller and smaller fractals in order to gain more information, which is then feed back to the Akash. I have a question about a friend of mine and I don't want to say her name, but I wonder if it's something that you might be able to know. 
or get a sense of, but she was asking me why she picked life of disfigurement, pain, and immense sadness. How do I answer that for her? From the higher perspective of soul contracts, her soul knew based on previous experiences that is ready and it can handle life like that, which will bring, again, you might call it immense advancement in learning the information and experience that the soul, therefore rest of the cosmos, would have through this experience. And every person that she encounters in her life touches in different ways she would experience love from others. Others will experience love from her, but also there are a number and many more situations and emotions, experiences that these souls will learn, let's say, learn from each other on a soul level. Not it feels like a sacrifice, like she sacrificed a lot to do that. Or her higher self is gaining, but it still is a sacrifice in some way. That's her human perspective, yes. Her human perspective at this time, right. She is a warrior. We talk about like someday um, doing a past life regression with her and her being a knight Templar or, you know, some hero. I'm like, yeah, a hero or a knight would do something like this too. Mm, that's exactly what I meant. Yeah. Saying about past experiences that her soul already had. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. People who are choosing these difficult circumstances for the human experience anytime, not only now, but also, let's say, in the Earth past, there are sometimes even ancient souls that already went through a lot wise ancient souls mm, like you you're not a mm. soul though right you're not a, are you considered a soul how does that work yes from your perspective i would consider myself a soul that after let's say when I finish the job of a son, I might decide to fragment into, let's say, hmm, smaller beings mm -hmm. and go and experience more. Now more and more of light workers are being activated waking up, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it, mm -hmm. which is disturbing the, the status quo, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. yep. And this knowledge is coming out again, it's being rediscovered and being shared. And it's at the point where it can't be swept under the carpet anymore. Mm -hmm. So when it comes, yes, a lot of water is being polluted, a lot of 
natural habitats are being polluted or destroyed but you can still turn it around you humanity and you are going that direction mm. together with sun together with earth together with solar system and you've been helped by many other for you alien life that is looking over you mm. yes thank you thank you so much is there anything else you would like to say before i bring margo back anything that you would just Keep shining bright, Jodie. Oh, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And I, I'm just so grateful that you showed up today. Because you showed up. <laughs> <laughs>